So, my name is Anne Elizabeth Bowles. Um, what truth did your pieces address? My piece addressed um, the truth of knowledge that is held by people of African descent. Um, the knowledge that is shown in this show comes forth through the wisdom that is bestowed upon those artists who chose to do the work that they did and to present it in this show. Um, uh, let's see. I guess that doesn't answer the truth of my. Well, so my piece, um, I have two pieces in the show. And generally, um, my work is um, reflective of that which comes through me when I'm in front of a canvas with paint, and um, I just allow it to move through me. So this painting, Sagala, uh, was painted, uh, it was started in 2003 um, after the, the death of my son's father. and. Um, it was a beautiful African-American black man who um, I loved dearly at one time um, and still loved, I mean, you know, beyond, but um, he passed early in his life. At any rate, I started this painting in memory of him and then I started to realize the significance of all of our lives and um, just sort of the, uh, how we represent those that came before us. And I wanted my painting to not just express what I felt about this individual person, but what um, I felt about my culture and the people that I come from. So, uh, so I continued to work on the painting and I decided that I wanted to address the knowledge that was bestowed upon the Dogon of Mali. And uh, the Dogon knew, knew of a serious system and uh, they, they imparted information about the, the, uh, the, the star Sirius, that there was a dwarf star, they couldn't, it couldn't be seen, it hadn't been seen, but the dwarf star was indicated to be present by the Dogon. So it was researchers that started to look for the dwarf star and they found it. But they also mentioned a planet and that planet uh, to this day supposedly has not been found. Um, <laughs> that planet has not been found uh, or at least it's not indicated that it has been found. Um, but the, the, the Dogon insist that life began on that given planet. And there is, according to the Dogon, metal that exists on that planet that's heavier than iron, and it's called Sagawa. And so uh, beyond that, um, the, the Dogon also um, insists that life began on that given planet. And, um, that life came from Nomos, who were the water people. And um, if we think about it, we are three-fourths water. This planet is three-fourths water. So for whatever reason, the Dogon insists that the, the people of Nomos came here and began life here and dis disseminated information to many different points. So not just the Dogon, but other um, indigenous cultures. Um, let's see. Um, I, from this exhibit um, insights, I gained um, revolve around the need to um, to bring a collective together in a situation or an opportunity, rather to um, allow people to witness what artists are saying through their art. And um, it, it is a true opportunity. 
uh, not to just do the work and sense the work and allow it to move through you in whatever medium you decide to do it in, uh, but uh, to also be able to bring it into one arena. And um, this is a long time coming for Seattle uh, to have something like this. I, I took part in the um, Urban League exhibits in the early 90s, and, um, and it was, that was wonderful to me too. <laughs> But, um, but this is something extraordinary, um, if not just for the size of it, but also um, for this day and time and the importance of documenting our, what our artists are doing.